Good morning. It's July 13th. Our reading today from Solid Stepping Stones is called Straight and Narrow Day. It comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22. Refrain from every type of evil. One mistake we can make as Christians is to think that some forms of evil are less evil than others. To think stealing a pen from a large corporation is less evil than stealing it from our next-door neighbor, or to rationalize evil by saying everyone is doing it. This word for evil literally means causing pain or torment. We are to hold ourselves back from anything that causes unnecessary pain to someone else. Christians are to be people who tap into the abundance of God and deliver that overflow to others. We don't cause pain, we alleviate it. We don't torment others, we bless them. We don't decrease others, we increase them. Anything we do then that causes others trouble or pain is one of the kinds of evil this passage talks about. Our goal is not to just look good and or participate in practices we can justify. Our goal is to really distance ourselves from hurting other people. Today is straight and narrow day. We are called to be people who reflect the righteousness of Christ in our earthly lives. That seems like an impossible task if we try to analyze every thought and action in terms of laws we might break. But if we take the positive rather than the negative approach to this verse, we find that the law of love comes in real handy. The best way to avoid hurting others is to make sure you bless them. Instead of going through this day focusing on avoiding hurting people, focus on building them up and minimizing their pain. Jesus was described as a man who went about doing good. We just need to do the same. Let's pray. Lord, I am a blessing. You have given me to all the people around me. Help me today not to just avoid hurting others, but rather to be a blessing to them instead. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. Your readings today are from Second Chronicles chapters 20 and 21 and Mark chapter 14. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.